Hey guys, welcome back. So we don't want to trigger anybody with this topic, but this is probably one that we don't go into a lot. And uh, the question is, and I'll ask it to you, Kirby, which I think I know the answer, but would you marry someone that is a different religion than you? No, unlike Alex, Alex is nice. I don't care if I trigger anybody. Uh, yeah, I would marry somebody that's a different religion than me. Actually, I did marry somebody that's a different religion than me. Uh, for me, uh, so people know, I mean, I know it don't matter to y'all. I'm not denominational. I don't believe in religion. So that means Baptist, Catholic. I don't believe in that. I do believe there's a divine entity that's uh, above all. Uh, you know, some people call him Yahweh. Some people call him God, uh, Allah, whatever. I still believe everybody talking about the same God, but the religion is more man-made and man tell you how to, you should live your life instead of following the teachings that's out there. So besides that, so no, I'm not an atheist because y'all know my saying, there's no atheist in a foxhole. So I'm not an atheist at all, but I did uh, marry somebody that was a different religion. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't a situation where, you know, I tried to force her to be in my religion or she tried to force me to be in her religion. That's that wasn't what it was about. It was more, hey, understand both and come to an understanding. Period. That that's all it's that's all it's about. I mean, you know, a lot of people, of course, men in religious sectors be like, oh, if if a man marries a female. The female has to move to their religion or vice versa. Nah, not for me. Not for me, because I will always be non-denominational to the end of time. But there is concepts that in my wife's religion that I agree with. Uh, and it's concepts that I don't have a religion, but it's concepts that I believe that she agree with. But we can agree on we can disagree on things and still create a united front i mean i don't believe that women only way that they can be close to god is wearing a burqa you know and i've lived in these countries that believe that is the true way of life but that's what men said that they have to do you know i mean it may be a historian on here to pull up a bible verse or verse out of quran and say that it needs to happen but for me i don't i don't believe that's even remotely possible to be close to god I mean, I understand the concepts behind it and not tempted man in it because a lot of these guys are savages out here, women. A lot of these guys are savages out here. But but besides that, I mean, I don't, I don't have no problem with it. Alex, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think it just depends. Um, I think if the beliefs are totally far apart, like complete opposite, I think it would cause for a difficult relationship in that aspect. But if the beliefs are on the same foundation or basis, I think there's very, uh, I think there's a lot of similarities, especially in the um, biblical writings and histories of like Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. I think there's a lot of similarities. If you just look at the biblical texts and history of all of those uh, religions, I think you can find some common ground, let's say, if, um, you know, two people of different religions and those wanted to get married because there's still the common ground and understanding of like faithfulness and um, treating people with respect and things of that sort. Um, now, if it's like a Satanist, <laughs> like a Christian, I don't think that makes much sense. But that's my point is like. I think it just depends what the religion is um, and what the beliefs of those individuals are. If they're completely opposite, then why would you why would you marry to begin with? You know, I mean, it's already conflicting enough to marry someone that doesn't have the same, um, you know, financial beliefs as you or the same cultural beliefs. So why would you do that with religion? You know, it's I just I would avoid conflict if you're going to marry somebody. But if you can find common ground, then I think it's doable.
Right. Well, one thing that one thing when when this question came up, we you know would you marry somebody of a opposite religion? Now you just said uh, it wouldn't make sense if they're having conflict. You would know if you have conflict way before the marriage even gets here. So if you have a conflict, then hell no, you shouldn't get married. Right. But just because they're a different religion, but you don't have that problem because everybody's not like uh, let's say the the very uh, secular cultures out there that believe in oh you shouldn't they shouldn't see each other and then they get married without knowing each other uh, until the wedding day. You know that you know that happens in a small you know small part of the of the world. But for most people, you know, they go out on dates, you know, they have conversations, they talk and they discuss way before the topic of marriage come up. So if it's a conflict there, the marriage shouldn't even even be in the horizon. Exactly. But if that's not a conflict, if that's not a conflict beforehand, that's it's not a um, it shouldn't be a conflict during marriage unless somebody just completely do a 180. Oh, hey, my family again, man made my family's in some we got to change religions. And then I mean I, I see that happening, but it goes it ties into the same thing that you say with the finances. If you're not having conversations about finances before marriage, then what the hell are we even talking about? I mean, it it only, it'd take a quick Google search to say what's the number one cause of divorce, especially here in America. Finances. So if you're not having these conversations before and you think, oh, that's taboo because your parents say, oh, you can't talk about, you don't supposed to talk about finances, politics, and religion. You're out of your damn mind. That should be the first topic. It can save you a lot of heartache and time. Instead of being with somebody, y'all don't want to talk about finances, then y'all talk talk two years later. Then you realize, you know, he or she's in a, a crap ton of debt, and there ain't no way in hell you're going to marry him. Like Alex, Alex is uh, the perfect example. Date number one. Hey, how much money you got in your bank account? Where are these credit cards? What you got? What you got? That's... <laughs> That's the conversation you have because the thing is, is, you know, we're making fun of it. But so just think if Alex had that conversation two years later, now nah, he didn't fell all in love, all feel warm and gooey in the middle. Now nah, he feel like, oh, stuff. We're not, we don't on the same financial path. He just wasted two years of his life. If he just want to cut sling little right there. So you might as well nip it in the bud day one, you know, and guy, I'm saying this to guys and females. That should be a conversation early on. Like, uh, so what's your financial situation looking like? What do you have? I mean, of course, some people might lie and you can get tricked into it. I understand that. But those are the conversations that you should have. Uh, like in my house, talking about finances is like talking about the weather. It's an everyday conversation. It ain't It ain't even nothing taboo. It's, we talk about it. We talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Just what's going on, you know, where's money being allocated? What's going on in this business? What's going on in that business? What's going on in the stock market? It's an everyday conversation. I don't care about what's going on with keeping up with the Kardashians or what's going on the TV show. What they doing in their lives ain't going to affect what's going on in my household. What's going to affect what's going on in your household is the financial situation. And but it's the same thing, you know, tying back to religion is these conversations are conversations that need to be had early and often. Not a one-time thing and they'd be like, oh no, everything good. No, no, break out the books. I need to see bank accounts. I need to see credit card statements. I need to see, I need to see your credit report. I need to see everything. You know. That's that's just a conversation. I mean, Alex, I mean, I I, I make fun of you about it, you know, your first date with your wife. But if I ever, ever, ever had to do this again, which for the record, I'll never get married again. But if I ever had to do this again. Alex, I would be just like you. I, I'd be on a phone conversation. So, uh, what your finances look like before we even go on this first date? Might say, might save me a steak meal, but I'm not. How you look yeah. and all that other stuff that's great, but if you're not financially able to understand what's going on, then there's not much we can talk about after that. Yeah. And I'm saying that and conveying that to the viewers. That should be a high purpose and something how do you look at because if you're not on one accord there because for the life of me i watch dave ramsey shows all the time and then oh i'm the saver he's the spender or he's saying he's a saver and she's a spender and then i can't get my wife to stop spending how the hell did it ever get to this you should have known what that was before you even said i do and then once you found out they was spender it should have been i don't 
<laughs> uh, we ain't doing this. We we could just be friends. I see you passing by, but I don't I don't get it. And again, I know some people lie. I know that's you know, it's people out there to do that. But for the most part, you knew who you was marrying before you married them. So don't be surprised when they are who they showed you they was at the beginning. Yeah, it's got to be a partnership for sure. Like, I mean, I remember one of the things that, like, I guess I found attractive of my wife was, <laughs> it's going to sound funny, but, like, literally, like, she had a journal of all, she doesn't know I looked at it, but she had a journal of a budget. But who makes a budget? Like, Well, she know now. <laughs> yeah. She know now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's well, like, ahead, I mean, because it showed me that, like, she was responsible and like she was on top i didn't want to get into another relationship where like it was just like careless you know and it was going to hold me back and so it was seeing those things that she was willing to do not do her nails uh willing to literally give me her savings to invest in her income and like sh the money part was like okay i'll just work you you invest it like we'll figure it out together and it wasn't like, oh, no, I have to have my hair done. I have to have my nails done. I have to go shopping and all these things. Like, then where's the growth for, of the relationship financially? So, yeah, I think, in, you, know, you know, and going back to, like, religion, it's not so much of, like, what religion you are, what political party you are, what whatever you are. It's just, can you prevent conflict? Can you come together and work as a team? Because if your beliefs are going to skew you from working together, then that's just not a relationship to be in. And um, I think that's the hardest part for most people is just finding common ground and actually working together. Like not one, because I see this too, like with married couples, like one believes one thing, another believes another thing, whether it's politically, religiously, whatever. And one of them just obeys the other one and just like, whether it's the husband to the wife or the wife to the husband, it's like, okay, that's not working as a team in my view. You're not coming together and actually like on the same page. You're just saying, okay, yes, to whatever the other says. So it's like in that, that I don't see that being healthy at all either. Like there has to be agreements upon, you know, between the two of them. Agreement. That was well said. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that was well said. I'm, we're going to wrap it up right there because I already see people get mad at Alex. In the comment section, so I'm, I'm gonna let them attack you. <laughs> <laughs> With all that being said, y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all in the next video. We'll see you.